What's up everyone, Rob from Ishimoto. Today we're going to install our ancillary hose kit on your 2016 Plus Camaro SS. Let's get started. Tools recommended for installation include seven and 10 millimeter sockets, quarter inch drive ratchet, extensions and driver, a panel tool, a flathead screwdriver, needle nose pliers, and a pick tool. Installation time is two to three hours. Installation difficulty is a three out of five. Caution, never work on a cooling system when it's hot. The coolant temperature in the radiator can be considerably higher than boiling and the system may be under pressure. Opening a cooling system that's hot or under pressure can result in serious injury. Always wait until the system has cooled completely before servicing it in any way. Set the vehicle on an automotive lift or raise it with a jack and place it securely on jack stands. Refer to your owner's manual for safe lifting points if you're unsure. Remove the five screws that secure the air diverter to the driver's side of the vehicle and remove the air diverter. Repeat this process on the passenger side. Remove the eight screws that secure the lower edge of the front bumper. Remove the four screws and six bolts that secure the splash panel to the underside of the vehicle. Place a drain pan beneath the pet cock on the radiator. Attach a short length of hose over the drain on the radiator to reduce spillage and loosen the pet cock until coolant begins to flow from the drain tube. Remove the cap on the expansion tank to expedite the draining process. Once the radiator has finished draining, close the pet cock. Compress the clamp that secures the overflow hose to the expansion tank and separate the hose from the tank. Repeat this process on the other two ends of the overflow hose, then remove the hose from the vehicle. Disconnect two of the clips that secure the wiring harness to the engine near the expansion tank. Separate the two tree clips that secure the heater hoses to the engine. Then separate the upper heater hose from the water pump. Separate the tree clip that secures the lower heater hose to the engine. Then compress the clamp that secures the lower hose to the water pump and separate the hose. Compress the clamp that secures the heater hose to the back of the expansion tank and separate the hose. Separate the quick disconnect fittings that secure the heater hoses to the firewall and remove the hoses from the vehicle. Each fitting has a clip that locks the hose into place. To release the fitting, the clip needs to be slid out until it snaps into the second detent on both sides. Use a pick and flathead screwdriver to release the clips. When you reinstall the hoses, you will simply lock this clip back into place and secure the hose. Compress the clamps that secure the quick disconnect fittings to the factory hoses and remove the fittings. Lubricate the fittings with fresh coolant and transfer them to the Mishimoto heater hoses. Orient the fittings so the clip will be easily accessible when installed on the car and secure them with the provided hose clamps. Lead the hose with three ends underneath the dipstick tube and along the side of the engine. Install a hose clamp over the end of the hose and attach it to the lower port on the water pump. Install a hose clamp over the other end of the hose and connect it to the expansion tank. Set the quick disconnect fitting on the unlocked position and attach the hose to the outermost port on the firewall. Then lock the clip to secure the hose to the firewall and tighten the clamps you installed earlier. The design for this hose has been updated to include heat wrap, so yours will look a bit different. Lead the other heater hose alongside the first and secure it to the firewall. Then install a hose clamp over the other end and attach the hose to the upper port on the water pump. Tighten the clamp to secure the hose. Reconnect the tree clips and secure the wiring harness to the engine. Locate the overflow hose included with your kit. This hose contains a valve, so it's important that it's installed correctly. The hose ends are labeled for ease of installation. Install a worm gear clamp over each end and attach the hose to the appropriate ports on the thermostat housing, radiator, and expansion tank. 
Then tighten the clamps to secure the hose. Fill the cooling system with pre-mixed GM approved coolant through the reservoir filler neck. Start the engine and allow it to idle with the cap off. Turn the heater control valve on the vehicle's HVAC unit to full hot and put the fan on low. Monitor the engine temperature and coolant level in the reservoir. Add coolant as needed to maintain a proper level in the reservoir and check all connections for leaks. If the vehicle begins to overheat or coolant starts to overflow from the reservoir, shut the engine off and allow it to cool before continuing. Once the vehicle is fully warmed up and the coolant level is stabilized, shut the engine off. Install the splash panel to the underside of the vehicle and secure it with the original hardware. Install both air diverters to the vehicle and secure them with the original hardware. If you forgot which side is which, look on the underside of the air diverters. The driver's side will be marked LH and the passenger side will be marked RH. Install the four screws that secure the splash panel to the fender liner. Install the eight screws that secure the front edge of the bumper. Now that you have the car back together, top off the coolant level and go out for a test drive. Remember that the coolant should be checked once more after putting in some miles. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out.